Welcome to Sarnath, a serene oasis just a stone's throw away from the bustling city of Varanasi. Today we embark on a journey to uncover the rich history and spiritual significance of this sacred site. Upon entering Sarnath, one is immediately struck by the bustling marketplace that lines the pathway leading to its sacred sites. Here, a myriad of shops and stalls offer an array of treasures, from intricately crafted Buddha figures to colourful Indian cultural items adorning the shelves. Sarnath's history traces back to around the 5th century BC, when a young prince named Siddhartha Gautama, later known as the Buddha, embarked on a journey of self-discovery. After encountering illness and death in the countryside, he renounced his luxurious life and sought liberation from suffering through meditation. The Buddha's journey led him to Sarnath where he delivered his first sermon to his five former companions in the Tranquil Deer Park. Impressed by his teachings on the Four Noble Truths, they became his first disciples, marking the inception of Buddhism. Eventually, he realized that liberation comes from disciplining the mind. He then sat down to meditate under a sacred fig tree and resolved not to get up until he became enlightened. It happened profoundly on one full moon night. The tree was located at the site of the magnificent Mahabodhi temple in Bodhgaya. The Buddha didn't start preaching at Bodhgaya though, there were five people he wanted to teach first. He'd previously practiced physical discipline with them as a means to liberation. They'd left him in disgust after he decided it wasn't the right path to liberation. The Buddha heard they were dwelling in a deer park at Sarnath, so he headed there. They were so impressed with his newfound wisdom and four noble truths that they became his first disciples. The air is filled with the melodic chimes of prayer bells and the tantalizing aromas of incense, creating an ambience that is both lively and deeply spiritual. By the 7th century, Sarnath had become a major center for the study of Buddhism, and thousands of monks were living in monasteries there. Unfortunately, Turkish Muslim invaders arrived in the 12th century and destroyed much of Sarnath and many other Buddhist sites in North India.
The significance of Sarnath in the Buddhist tradition cannot be overstated. Here, Emperor Ashoka, a devout follower of Buddhism, erected monumental structures such as the Daimak Stupa and the Ashoka Pillar, symbolizing his commitment to non-violence and the propagation of the Buddha's teachings. These architectural marvels stand as a testament to the enduring legacy of Buddhism and its profound impact on Indian history and culture. Despite facing periods of decline and destruction, Sarnath's legacy endured through the centuries. The resilience of its monuments and the dedication of scholars and archaeologists ensured its preservation and rediscovery in the modern era. Buddhism flourished in Sarnath due to its proximity to Varanasi. However, most of the structures were built by Mauryan Emperor Ashoka a couple of centuries after the religion was established. Guilt over his brutal invasion of Kalinga present-day Odisha on India's east coast caused him to convert to Buddhism and practice non-violence. Most of what remained of the Dharmarajika stupa, made by Ashoka, was further demolished in the late 18th century by Jagat Singh and used as building materials. However, this rediscovery of Sarnath prompted British archaeologists to excavate the site in the 19th and 20th centuries. The national emblem of India, featuring four lions and a Dharma chakra, the wheel representing the Buddhist teachings, is derived from it. The chakra also appears on the Indian flag. Subsequent rulers added to the stupas and monasteries that Ashoka built at Sarnath. During the reign of the Gupta dynasty in the 4th century AD, Sarnath was an active centre of art and Buddhist sculpture. He enthusiastically went about constructing stupas and pillars across India to promote the religion. The most celebrated pillar is the one at Sarnath. Today, Sarnath stands as a beacon of spiritual enlightenment and cultural heritage, drawing pilgrims and tourists from around the world to experience its timeless beauty and serenity. As we traverse the sacred grounds of Sarnath, we are reminded of the interconnectedness of past and present and the enduring power of wisdom and compassion to transcend the limitations of time and space.
In a world plagued by turmoil and uncertainty, Sarnath serves as a sanctuary of peace and reflection, inviting all who enter its hallowed precincts to embark on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. Sarnath stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of the Buddha and the timeless wisdom of his teachings. Through the ages, it has remained a sacred sanctuary where seekers of truth and enlightenment can find solace and inspiration. As we pay homage to the ancient ruins and majestic monuments of Sarnath, let us also honour the profound spiritual heritage that continues to enrich our lives and illuminate our path towards inner peace and harmony. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a spiritual seeker, or simply in search of inner peace, Sarnath beckons with its timeless beauty and profound tranquility. Join as we explore the wonders of Sarnath, where the echoes of ancient wisdom resonate with the rhythm of modern life. <laughs>